Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Um, our devotions are coming from Joyce Meyer's book, Trusting God Day by Day. I apologize for the lighting. I'm, I've got a new light bulb in there and I'm experimenting to see what what is good. And our, it is Saturday, February the 18th, and our devotion today is entitled, God Honors Our Trust in Him. Our scripture comes from the book of Psalms 91, one of my favorite Psalms. Verse 15, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. That's God's promise to us. Many people have difficulty trusting God because of past hurts. We were talking about that yesterday. But God is not like the people who have hurt us. We can trust him. He's safe to trust. Although God wants to take care of us, his hands are tied by our unbelief and works of the flesh. If we don't believe him and if we're involved in the works of the flesh, it's nothing he can do. He is a gentleman and will not just take over without being invited to do so. He waits until we give up the job of self-care and place our trust and confidence in him. The law of faith mentioned in 1 Peter 5, 7 is this. When you stop trying to take care of yourself, you release God to take care of you. And that's paraphrased. I've discovered that it is very hard to walk in obedience to God and in love with others if my primary interest is that I don't get hurt or taken advantage of. However, when I allow God to be God in my life, he honors three distinct promises that he makes in Psalm 91, 15. He'll be with me in trouble. He'll deliver me and he will honor me. That doesn't, that means we aren't going to avoid trouble. He'll be with us in trouble. Trouble comes because you have sinners who make very bad decisions, which usually means there are people who are victimized. God is with us in those moments. He knows it'll happen because he knows the sin, wicked nature of man. Honor is a place of lifting up. When God honors a believer, he lifts up or exalts that person. When we let go and do not try to care for ourselves, we are admitting that we need God's help. It is an act of humility. And that act of faith places us in the direct line of God's exaltation. Peter wrote, therefore, humble yourselves, demote, lower yourselves in your own estimation under the mighty hand of God that in due time he may exalt you. First Peter 5, 6. When we trust God, we are in line for a promotion. God will honor us and reward us as we place our faith in him. In the world system, you work hard and then you get your reward. In God's economy, you trust him deeply and then you receive reward. Oh, I don't have a whole lot to add to that. It can be difficult because there are evil people who make evil choices. And we think it's very unfair that innocent good people are victimized. Children are victimized. It's hard that those things happen. But they happen not because God isn't God. They happen because he honors his word to give us the free will choice. And unfortunately, there are people who do not make good choices. They make evil choices. And evil things happen to good people when evil people make evil choices. God is with us in the midst of any and every difficulty. He's the one we can cry out to for help. He is our ever-present help in times of trouble. He is the one who will rescue us. He is the one who will intervene. He is the one who will be with us in those moments. So our trust in him today, when we trust in ourselves, it leads to strife and shows that we don't trust God to do what he says in his word. Be with us, deliver us, and honor us. 
When we trust God, however, it leads to the reward of peace, peace within ourselves, peace with God, and peace with others. I'm thinking, and I, I can't get away, so I think I must share this story. CBN aired a story, a testimony several years ago, and this young college girl who was very much in tune with the Holy Spirit, walking with the Lord, very much um, in relationship with God, was walking around her campus, her neighborhood, I can't remember where she was, when the Holy Spirit spoke to her and warned her that she was about to be abducted, but to be at peace, he was with her. And, you know, she's, and then the stranger came in, uh, grabbed her. I'm not sure if he bound her up or if he just threw her in the trunk of the car. But he threw her in the trunk and the Holy Spirit was with her. Now, I don't know about you. I'd be in utter terror. But she and that's what she said. She was amazed at how calm and peaceful she was because she knew the Holy Spirit was with her. The Holy Spirit directed her in that trunk of the car. Uh, and I think she because she knew nothing about cars or anything else which is what makes it miraculous holy spirit told her to kick out the rear light it, you know because the the you know so she did she kicked out the light that was there which made a hole she was able to grab something and put her hand out of the hole of the trunk of that car and and then there was a latch or something inside there that she found that would open the trunk from the inside. That's a safety feature they've added to trunks because of children and people dying of suffocation in the trunks of cars and asphyxiation from the fumes and everything. So they've made safety features now in all the trunks. So she found that latch, not realizing that it was there, but she found the latch. And at the correct moment, the Holy Spirit told her, go, do it now, do it now. She unlatched the thing. She got out and ran in the direction the Holy Spirit told her to run in before her abductor realized that she had escaped. And then she got out. No harm had come to her. And he wound up getting caught two blocks later because she had been waving the handkerchief or piece of cloth or something out of the back of the car People in traffic knew there was somebody in the trunk of the car and they had alerted the police with the tags and everything else. And so God will be with you in the midst of trouble. Now, most of us would like to never, ever have to deal with an abduction thing or something horrible and terrorizing like that happening. But it happens because people make bad, evil choices. And the Holy Spirit was with her. She was not traumatized. She didn't have post-traumatic stress or walk around terrorized in fear because the Holy Spirit was with her. And that came because she was in solid relationship with the Lord. Solid, not some somebody, oh, I have a belief in God, you know, and she was daily in prayer, daily in reading her word. She was built up j just in solid, strong relationship with the Lord. And I says, you know what? I want to be that close to the Lord that he can forewarn me when something's going to happen and be with me to protect me, to give me the wisdom to know what I need to do, to listen to his voice when he tells me, do it now, do it now. Because you don't know. You try to escape. Is that going to, is he going to kill me? And there was paraphernalia in the trunk, like duct tape and knives or guns or whatever. There was stuff in the car that indicated his plans for her were to murder her. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, there you go. God is able in every circumstance and situation, and it's so important that we trust him. So, God bless you. I hope you decide to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell. Come back and check out some of the other content on my channel. Today is my daughter's baby shower. And so I've got a few things I need to do this morning, uh, in preparation for that, but, um, I'm not in charge of the shower. So I'm just bringing the elements that I've been told are needed. So I'm like, okay, I just got to pick up cards and maybe a couple of balloons or something. But anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. I had a great day with my hubby yesterday in Williamsburg. It was uh, so great just getting out with him. It was a little rainy. Most of it held off for the time that we were 
out and about. And then right around dinner time, we have early dinner because um, we eat very early so that our stomach has time to settle like 3 30, 4 o'clock early. But anyway, it was wonderful. So great having time with him the whole day. It's so amazing how your relationship evolves after so many years together of being committed to one another and to God and putting him the center of your marriage. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. God bless you and bye until next time.